For me, the perfect mix is something that everybody involved is very happy with, especially the songwriter and the artist. That's as close to perfect as you can get. The first session I was on, I was assisting on a Duke Ellington session, which is pretty mind-blowing. I was a bass player in a local Connecticut bar band. We got an opportunity to do some demos in a recording studio called Media Sound in New York. I walked into this recording studio and it was like, well, I could spend the rest of my life in this place. You know, it was just the perfect environment because I was always the guy in the band recording the gigs and recording the rehearsals. When I started out, I was a recording engineer. Power Station was a studio in New York that Tony Bon Jovi had started. I was the first one he asked to be on staff. And I said, could it be a rock studio? He said, you can be anything you want, as long as we get people to work there. And then this board, Geneve 8068, we agreed, oh, this is what we should get. All the, the Chic and Sister Sledge records, We Are Family was done on this. The River for Springsteen was cut on this. I mixed Hungry Heart on this desk. I mixed Miss You for The Stones. The first Brian Adams record I did, kind of on this. The Pretenders album, a Simple Minds album, In Excess, I did Kick. I produced a Hollow Notes album. I mixed a Meatloaf record. <laughs> One of Kiss's records, Creatures of the Night. Amy Mann's first solo record, three Crowded House records, a live McCartney album. Bowie, the most incredible singer I've ever worked with. Born in the USA actually was one of the easiest records I've ever mixed because the E Street Band, at that point, they'd been playing live for years and years, and it was mostly recorded live. The mix itself was always, always simple because nobody was ever stepping on anyone else. I'd like to take more credit and say, oh man, those guys, I, I, set, I salvaged that band, but no. <laughs> I was lucky to be there, I think. The mixing process that I enjoy is just that, that thing of trying things and finding just the right effect or the right balance. I mean, I always pretty much start from scratch. I just play it over and over, and sometimes I'll actually almost fall asleep or not do anything. And then the more I play it, you know, I, I kind of go, Oh wait, now that doesn't sound good. Let me fix that. Oh well, this could use a little bit of delay or something in there. Yeah, that's better. And then gradually it'll kind of start to come together without even thinking about it. And I listen back when I'm done and I'm going, wow, I can't believe I did that. I would like to see more real instruments coming back. It's such an exciting thing to get a room full of great players and then something, there's, there's a chemistry that, that happens when a bunch of guys are and women are playing together and they bounce off of each other and they hear what somebody else is doing and then we'll make them do something. And when it all clicks, if you can capture that on the tape or digits or whatever it is that we're recording on currently, <laughs> I just love that.